Hello again everyone. I'm sorry for the cutoff video and part one and part two. So I guess this makes this video number three. This is Sandy Wilhelmina and hello from all of us. I got some happy mail from Sarah at New England Junk Journals who is amazing. So I will link her information in the down below. And I'm going to read this card later because I probably will cry. So the first thing here, look at that beautiful, beautiful fabric. Sarah, this is amazing. I love it. That should be a book cover, in my opinion. And the book is Tennyson's Birthday, birthday Book. And it's just adorable. Fanny B. Song owned it. I put my big fingers out of the way. You could probably see something. Edited by Emily Shakespeare. Oh, for goodness sake, cute thing. Two and three Bible house. So I don't see a date on it. This says 1907. Oh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. It looks like she has some birth dates or something like that. And there's all kinds of really neat quotes and just really neat. Thank you, Sarah. This is very, very cool. Special. And then she's not done yet. Look at that cute bag. I haven't looked at any of this yet, but I did take it all out of the box. Obviously, I did. Got beautifully aged index cards. I don't have any that big, so it's awesome. A beautiful card. That is adorable. And it has a letter inside. Wow. It's very pretty. Sarah, Sarah. A lifetime calendar. How funny is that? <laughs> very cool. Oh my goodness, and even more of these. I do not have any of that big at all. Thank you, thank you. Ainsley Lamp Company, or Incorporated. Look at that. That is so neat. I have a feeling you will all be seeing a lot of this stuff in my next journals. Thank you, Sarah. And then she even sent me some wallpaper. Beautiful. I love those colors. Perfect for a, a journal front or cover. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Sarah, you've got some lovely stuff. Very, very pretty stuff. That would be an awesome belly band. I do a lot of stuff with this. And then someone went a lot overboard, it looks like. I don't have a lot of this kind of fabric. And you must have known. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. This is so awesome. Oh my goodness, Sarah. Just beautiful. Here's those little sunflowers. I love how the colors all kind of just go together. You really have some beautiful stuff. Pineapples and apples and oranges. Just so pretty. <laughs> Oh, 
I guess I should keep talking here. Oh my gosh, Sarah. I am going to be busy doing some stuff. Snippet rolls, maybe? I would have to get my machine to behave itself because it is not behaving. And it's actually in the timeout corner and has been for some time now. So I love that dark red. And orange. I love all kinds of colors. My, my grandma Lamp, if you've been on the website, you may have heard about her. And she was a, a crazy quilter and a rug braider. And she would get um, the local store would give her fabric, leftover fabric from whatever they were up to. And she would braid rugs and she would make crazy quilts. Curtains, an outfit. She even had an outfit like it. And she would have loved to have all this kind of fabric. She, oh my, I love that color. Oh my goodness. She always wore flannel shirts. And they would get her flannel shirts for Christmas. Now hopefully I have the story right, Mom, if you're watching. And she would, they'd turn their back and she'd be downstairs cutting them into strips so that she could use them in her rugs. She was something else. I just loved her. These are just beautiful. Look at those cats. Cats make me smile. Especially bright green ones. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long, you guys, but I have to look. This is my first on air. Happy mail. And I'm very happy. Oh, I've been wanting to do a tea time journal. Coffee, tea, or llamas. Are those sheep? Those are cows. They're close. Oh boy, look at them. Oh, how adorable. They're little shoes. Oh, Sarah, you really outdid yourself here. And there's another favorite color, black. You might have heard that already, too. My very first coloring book. All I, I colored every page with a black crayon. Not sure if that should have... Uh, told them something about me way back then, right? Gosh, these are beautiful. Oh no, look at the bees. Oh, just adorable. Oh my goodness. And the ladies. Oh, wow. Fans. That is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Travelers. Very nice. Oh my goodness. And then look at that. You heard about the big, oh boy, the big chips. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Have I said that 50 times? I apologize, but this is amazing. Sarah, thank you. I'll put Sarah's information down below. Oh, just awesome. Thank you so much. This came along with a box of magazines and books, which are from the Fall Harvest hashtag from Angela at Traveling Crafter. And this box of magazines, I'm not sure how many times it's been around yet, uh, Sarah added this book in to Harvest. And what we're doing is sending these magazines around to whoever wants to be next in the train. So if you're interested, uh, give me an email or leave your, just say that you're interested and I'll get in touch with you because this box needs to be somewhere next. And these are great books. If you ever get to take one apart or use one, they're amazing. They were one of the first sets of books that I ever found and I, I just love them. So instead of flipping through everything, I went ahead ahead of time and took out the pages that I'm going to use. But look at this book. And if you like Halloween, Halloween stuff is so hard to find anymore. This one has a bunch of Halloween. And of course, I should have put a marker on it. 
just gonna get in there. And these are the pages I'm saving for myself because who wouldn't want to have a, a little gremlin? I'm not sure what he is on a flying rooster because flying roosters, who knew? And of course, this is for my big tall ship book. I have a huge old book from 1922 that I started last year in October. And any of the old ship pictures that I love, I save them and I'm using it for a scrapbook, I guess, or a glue book. I'm not sure what you would call it. So these will be going there. I had to give up on that uh, the old book and I started with a great big atlas as my next book. And I, that's where all my fun stuff goes. <laughs> Lots of tall ships. So I grabbed this Halloween. <coughs> Excuse me. And then who doesn't want to have a mouse riding on a frog? For goodness sake. So those are the pages I kept from this book. Which will go back into the box. And then... We have a lot of magazines. Let's grab a few here to start with. And again, I went through and I took the ones out that I was going to keep just to save you some time. These I love because, and shiny pages don't really bother me much. They might on the camera, but look at all the things here. And if it could either be a great big card or you could fussy cut some things or belly band. I mean, there's just so much in these books. And then there's that. I have no idea which side I would use. This I've grabbed for the this bed. It would be a cute card. Cute, cute, cute. I had to grab a sheep. That would be a cute card. A cute journaling card. I'm going to do a 4th of July book before summer, hopefully. <laughs> I might have it ready for a, a year from July. So that I thought was really neat, and it would be fun to make one of those. Maybe with all the cool fabric I have now, I could do that. It's just an old window frame, and they put chicken wire on it and wove the fabric through, tied it on. Very clever and very nifty. So this is the book, Country Homes Showcase. And there's just a ton of stuff. I could have taken a whole lot more out of this one, but I tried to behave the best I could. Go me, right? I mean, look at that. I hope I'm in frame. I am going to check here. Just give me a second. Do, 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 do. Mm, I think so. I hope so, because I'm not doing it again. This is the Food Network magazine, and this one I caught <laughs> ice cream. And look at what a cute little journaling card or a tag that would be. I'm not sure about green tea, but we can make it work. Oop, there's the other side. There are more of these in this magazine if you like those. And then, this still makes me hungry if anyone's got cake. Have some for me. Cake. Is just a platform for frosting just so you know so this is the magazine there is a lot in here see there's more of those just pages of goodness I need to not do these when I'm hungry because I am hungry HGTV magazine I grabbed this out of it because I like the yellow and I also have a little journal I just finished that has that is yellow like that and it has a little sunshine on the front of it and if I would have thought harder I would have had it here for you guys to see it and then my other favorite color is purple so there's that and then this is the magazine there is so much stuff in magazines if you haven't taken it don't be afraid of shiny pages because really you can work with it and there's just so much good stuff and I'm glad we're passing these around because what a fun thing to do. Where am I? Okay, I kept a few things out of this one. More yellow. This is the 
I have a light bulb, but I thought that looked cool. I might have to find some of those. I have a big bottle of wine, which sometimes we all want at the end of Thursday night. Oh, let's see. Just the door. I'd like to cut that out and put something looking through the door. And this was the pink. I love the pink everywhere. So this will be fun for a cookbook or anything. And there you go. You see a whole lot more of those that you could use. I just took one off the corner. Hope that's not against the rules. But I figured someone else might want to do something with that. Too much fun. Whoa, M&Ms. There's some yellow. I'm trying to get through these kind of quickly so I, hopefully my camera won't cut out on me again. I took these because they're my favorite Christmas cookie. My mom makes the best bakery things and Christmas cookies at her house. Oh my gosh. So this one has many, many, many things. And I suppose I'm saying that about every magazine, aren't I? At least I'm consistent. This I could have taken a whole lot more, but I, I really, really like this cage. Again, because of all the old things and books, me and my books. And then look at that. Again, I would not know which side to use. I love the violins box full of violins. I have to remember that if I ever see a violin, I'll have to grab it. So this was flea market finds. I didn't notice the suitcases in that one. Eating well. I eat well. I'm not sure if I took anything from this one or where it went if I did. Check that out. Contain yourself. The colors are pretty. I might have to take that one. I'll mark it and do it when I'm not on camera so you don't have to listen to me do it. I wonder if I looked all the way through this, because there are some really nifty things. So many colors that catch your eye. Oh, and there's a cow. I'm going to have to look at that one again. And this one, this magazine's been around, I think. I love the bee. This is why I grabbed this picture. Plus he cut that out or even just put that on a page as it is on the corner or something. And I like those too. I love pelicans. My parents live on a lake in Illinois. And it really floored me the first time she told me about pelicans flying through. They migrate through. And it just floored me. I didn't know pelicans came up this far. So there was birds and bees. And like I said, this one's been around, but still plenty there. Very nice. That's one of my favorite magazines. Still going. Here we go, another one. Schumacher Library of Prints. I did get a little naughty with this one. I love this picture of the kitchen. And then this right here, I would do that on my back porch because that is just too fun. The colors, everything about it. These remind me of a vintage time. Retro, is that the right word? Then we have ships. Ships, ships, and ships. Hi, matey. Peacocks. Candace, do you need more peacocks? Love the colors in this. I really, really like that one. And this one, too. And thanks to Hazel, I have a, a tree journal in my head. Hopefully I won't end up with three. Right, Hazel? This is my favorite. And then again, the bright colors. You could do so much with this picture. I kind of can't wait to see what I do with that one. 
So this is a big fat book and it has any kind of design from wall covering, colors, anything you could think of. I, I could have taken a hundred pages from this book, but I was a good girl. I did not do it. Oh, I'm running out of room here. Winter Delights. I grabbed this because those girls with their woolly sweaters and their socks and their stars with sequins just really made my day. Look at that. The tag's cute. And again, I could, there could have been a lot out of here for me. Look at that. Paper Angels. Amazing. Only a couple, maybe one more left or two. One. This is another of the big, um, I'm assuming this is a Schumacher too. And I, I love weaving. I'm not good at it. I can do it, but I choose not to. And the work and time that goes into setting up a loom like that, it's incredible. And I just thought, whimsy. <laughs> I don't do whimsy a lot. And then there was that on the back. Again, colors and patterns. Stars and snowflakes. Tis the season. And ooh la la, look at that. So, I have all of those. And then here is this big book. I may sneak a few more pages out of these two big books. We shall see. But there will be plenty more for the next person. That is all of them. And I will be adding a magazine or two to the box. So the next person will have some new things to look at. And I just love this idea. Thank you, Angela. Sarah, thank you for the goods. I will link everyone I can think of down below. And hopefully I'm doing this before my camera quits on me. So have a good night, everybody. And wish me luck. Tomorrow our new dog is coming from the shelter. I'm kind of nervous, but Jolly's really going to be happier. So I'll tell you that story on the next one. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your patience and for being wonderful. Smooches from the sheep. I'm still recording. No.